I will make a deal with you. Sure. If I can prove to you that the Bible stated the advent, the, uh, the, the, the coming of the Prophet Muhammad, will you convert to Islam right here? The real purpose of my life, and honestly, is to bring people to Jesus. This YouTube channel is just an extension of that passion, of that, of that desire. I can no longer hold back this truth that I have. Do you believe in Jesus, my friend? Yes. Do you believe in Jesus, my friend? Do you read the Quran? I, I heard you. Do, do you read the Quran? Do you know that Muhammad said to read the Injil? Muhammad said to read the Injil in the Quran. So, the Injil, the definition of the Injil, Right? First of all, it means good news, and it's referring first to the deity of Jesus, that Jesus is the Son of God, He died for our sins, and He rose again from the dead. So, from the beginning, that was the definition of the Gospel. But then when the books were written, the, the, the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John became known as the Gospels. And so, that's why Muhammad said to ask the people of the book, right? Who are the people of the book? The people of the book are the Jews and the Christians. They have the Torah, and they have the Injil. So these are books that Muhammad said that you are to read and you are to ask the Christians of the Jews if you have any questions. Before a long time, in Jewish Muslims was was a one sorry my religion. One religion. One religion. After that, they they separate to many religions. But historically speaking, my friend, Islam only started in the 7th century. It only started after the life of Muhammad. Because Muhammad is the one who got the revelation apparently from Gabriel, right? And Gabriel is the one who gave him the Quran, right? So before Muhammad received the Quran, people were not obeying exactly what the Quran says. Because the Quran and the Hadith it says that you have to pray three to five times a day, you have to go to mosque, you have to do Ramadan. All of these things were given by the revelation that Muhammad received in the 6th century. So before that, first you had the Jews who loved, lived under the law of Moses, under the Torah, right? And then after the Jewish people, Jesus came on this earth 2,000 years ago, and then we had the Injils, right? And that's when Christianity started, right? So if you go trace back through history, right? You go back to 2,000 years ago, we had the Jews, we had the Christians, and then you fast forward in the 6th century, that is when, when Islam started. But the thing is, you can't say that they are the same religion because there are clear contradictions between the Bible and the Quran. For a long time, it was one religion. When? Before the Tarif. The, the Tarif? Yeah. What's the Tarif? The Torah? You speak French? Oh, you speak Arabic. Okay. So you read you read the Quran in Arabic? I read the Quran in Arabic. Yes. Okay. So do you believe that the Quran is the word of God? Yeah, I believe that to be one. It is one of the Do you believe that the Quran is eternal? That that it was written on a heavenly tablet, right? That would and it existed from eternity past. It is eternal. The word of God. Do you believe that? So you believe that the Quran is co-eternal with Allah. So in that case, you do not believe in Talhid. Because Talhid says there is only one God and he has no co-eternal being. There is one God and there is, the, there is the prophets. Right. But you believe in God as an eternal being, but you also believe in the Quran as an eternal uh, book. Right? Right, but the Quran says that you have to fight the Christians and the Jews until they pay the jizya. In Surah chapter 9, verse 5, Muhammad said... No, no, it, 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 it doesn't say you, you must fight the Jewish and the Christians. He said when they fight you, you must, you must defend, defend yourself. It does not say that. Surah, Surah chapter 9, verse 28 to 29. It says, fight the Christians and the Jews no, no, no. until they pay the jizya. You, you don't 
there. It doesn't say for the person on the church. I'll tell you the context. No, he said you must defend a Muslim or them soon. And I know what's the point they said. Well, I know what's written in it too because I read it myself. In Surah chapter 9, Muhammad said, after the sacred days have passed, you have, you have to kill all the polytheists. It says that you have to kill the polytheists. And because the, the, the Muslim people didn't know how they were going to make money in Mecca because the polytheists brought the economy, he said, if you're afraid of poverty, you're just going to fight the Christians and the Jews until they pay the jizya. And that is how Islam conquered. He doesn't say kill the Jewish or the Christian. He says you must respect them. No, fight them. No, he doesn't say that. Muslim or Muslim, right? You don't know what you're talking about if you no, think it doesn't say that. The Quran. I don't know if you read the Quran because the Surah chapter Quran, 9 it yeah. says clearly kill the polytheists and fight the Christians and the Jews until they pay the jizya. And so that is why Muslims do not believe in the same thing as Christianity. He doesn't say that. He said when they fight you. It doesn't say when they fight you. It doesn't say that. It only says fight the Christians and the Jews until they pay the jizya. Do you have an English Quran? Okay, God bless you. Good seeing you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. You're busy. You're yeah. doing the right thing. All right. Take God bless care. you. Take care. Hey, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Remember that. Jesus. Amen. Aiza. Aiza. Amen. So, what I'm trying to say, my friend, because you're saying that Christians and the Jews, I'm I'm a Christian, but I read the Quran. No, no, I, I, I'm, I'm a Christian, but I read the... It's okay, you're good enough to have a conversation. What's in Quran they said, you don't kill the Christian, the Jewish, you must defend yourself. When they fight you first, and they, 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 uh, they have the sword and they fight you, you must defend yourself. You don't kill kids, you don't kill women, don't kill the oldest man. Okay, what chapter and verse do you know? If you don't know it by heart, it's okay. There's, there's the ayah, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not reading Quran so much. Yeah. So, but there's the, if you read the Quran, you, you're gonna find. It. Okay. Do you know the life of Muhammad? Do you know like his biography, like how he lived and his story? Do you know Muhammad's story? Not so much. Okay, so Muhammad was born in Mecca. You know he was born in Mecca, right? When he got the revelation from the angel, he began to preach the message of monotheism, right? That there was only one God. And the people in Mecca, they were polytheists, they were pagans, right? They worshiped many gods and they didn't like what Muhammad was preaching, right? And that is why they persecuted Muhammad. So, So Muhammad, he only had a few followers in Mecca, right? He had his family and a few friends, right? And they were persecuted. And that is why Muhammad said, there's a verse in uh, chapter two, he says that there is no compulsion in religion. Do you know that verse? He says you cannot force somebody to convert. Do you know that verse? Right. So what happened was when Muhammad was persecuted, he had to flee to Medina, right? So he fled to Medina. And that's where he started living with Christians and Jews that were in Medina, right? And he was also sharing the message to them. Now, when the Meccan caravans were doing business, they were going on the way to Syria, they passed through Medina. Do you know what Muhammad did? So Muhammad attacked the caravans and took the money of the caravans. So it was not self-defense. Doesn't kill kids. Doesn't kill girls. Doesn't kill old men. Okay, I'm not. I'm not talking about that. I'm but just. I'm just answering. Him, when people he tried to fight them, so he defends himself. Okay, but when he attacked, he do you know what I'm talking about? That he attacked the caravans. You don't know what I'm talking about? Okay. He doesn't attack the caravans. Sorry. No. Okay. Do you know why he attacked the caravans? Why? No, you tell me. You seem to know more. So please go. I believe he attacked them. Are you a Muslim? Uh, yes, I am. Somebody okay. You can be Muslim, okay? you can uh, speak in English, in French, Arabic, Spanish, whatever you want. Go for it. Awesome. So you know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, uh, the somebody, story. But I want you to enlighten me. 
Sure, no problem. So, Muhammad, he was persecuted in the beginning, right? I will concede that. I heard he was, he was persecuted, I heard right? He was, Why did he attack the caravan between Syria and Iraq? Right, so he was in Medina and Mec and uh, the Meccans, they were doing business, they had the caravans were going on their way to Why? Syria. Why? I'm, gonna, I, I'm getting there, my friend, okay? But you're not answering. I'm getting there, my friend. You're giving me a historical lesson that I already know. Did oh, okay, so you know already. So okay, so let me let me explain. So well, you asked him the question and you don't want to answer. I'm asking you to enlighten me and tell me why he attacked the caravan. He attacked the caravan to rob them. Okay, so that's the reason? That is the reason, Basically. because they took the goods. Okay. They took the money. So and that is why he recruited soldiers to steal from the caravans. So let me ask you, let me ask you based on what? Do you come to that conclusion that he just wanted to rob? I come to that conclusion based on the, the Islamic sources, the Hadith, that explains... Hadith by who? Surah, surah uh, Bukhari. Okay. Hadith uh, the Bukhari. Okay. Sahih Bukhari. So first of all, there's no such thing as a Surah Bukhari. Sahih Bukhari, alright? This is not a Surah. Sahih what, Bukhari. What you're referring to is Surah Al-Baqarah. This is a Hadith. Chapter 2, chapter 2. Okay, verses 159. Now, let me tell you something. The caravan was only attacked in retaliation to take back what was stolen from the Muslims in Mecca. The persecute, you said it yourself to him earlier, just about 10 minutes ago. Yep. When Muhammad sallallahu started preaching in Quraysh, which was known as Quraysh, which is Mecca, yep. they started persecuting them. And when you say persecuting them, we're not just talking about harassment and whatnot. We're talking about them being robbed, raw, just raw. It came to a point where Omar, Abu Talib, and all the followers of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wanted to attack back, to retaliate and take back what was belonging to them. That being said, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, no, we cannot because I have not yet received the authorization to go forward and take back our good, our goods. Once the Prophet Muhammad said, there was pressure on the Prophet Muhammad And, and I'm sorry, just to, just to uh, I would like to know the source. I'm not going to leave if you don't want to listen. Whoa, whoa. whoa. No, no, because I'm having a conversation here. We're having a no, conversation no, I'm here. Giving, I'm coming to no, 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 wait, no, let him talk. It's okay. It's but okay. but there's no need happens, to be... The... This is what happens when you try and teach the ignorance, the truth. They, they, they interrupt you. And Nobody's they stop interrupting you from me. explaining. Nobody's interrupting Let's get out of here. No, no, don't run away, my friend. I want to give this guy a history don't lesson. Don't, don't, don't run away, my friend. Don't run away. He doesn't want to listen. No, but he doesn't understand that the Islam... The Quran. I just have one question. Because no, no, no. you're giving me a bunch the of history Quran. lessons. What is your source? Where do you get your source? The Quran is the last testament. We believe in the Torah before it was altered. We believe in the Injil, which is the Bible, before it was altered. When was it altered? Tell me when it was altered. Every don't, don't let me indoctrinate you. Injil is on the Bible. Let me talk to him. Every single time you believe. Every single time, every single time a prophet such as Moses or Jesus came through with messages, they were prosecuted. You know by whom? By the rich and powerful. Because the last thing the rich and powerful of that era wanted is a bunch of followers who were back then slaves and money making machines to follow some poor guy and then abandon their empire. Can we have a civil conversation without you getting offended and you're not running away? No, 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 I'm just saying because I feel like if I say something you're gonna you're gonna get sensitive no because so, when you interrupt me while i'm trying to explain and answer your question then you're becoming disrespectful and therefore i have to react to that if i was disrespectful i apologize i went don't interrupt then you are lost but can we have a back and forth or you just want me to you listen to your lecture we can have a back and forth but you're gonna ask a question while answering many people the way or the whole backslide okay so let's try this okay let's try let's see if it could be if it could work if you get offended you go all the way it's okay but let's, let's just try to have a solid conversation wait let's say let's say uh, between who and Jews? No, I don't know that story. No, what are you referring to? Do you know why? 
So when he attacked the Christian, he doesn't fight them. But he enters the door, okay? He tells them, I'm going to give you a chance. Even you give us the, this land, our land, yeah? Even we take it in force. He gives him a choice, yeah? And then, and then when, when he, when he go, they, they have a food now. So Salah is not the Christian, he take the woman's on everything. Okay, what year was this? What year? What year? Around? Okay. Listen, so what? how, let me ask you something. I'm sorry. How did uh, Jesus pray? On his knees, his forehead to the floor. He prayed looking up to the heavens. Okay. He prayed how, how kneeling did, down. How did he pray? According to your Bible. According to your Bible. Many ways. Sorry. You're many interrupting ways, me, my Many man. ways. According to your Bible, Moses, Jesus, Suleiman, Muhammad, everybody prayed with their knees on the floor and their foreheads on the floor. Yeah, he also prayed standing. Just like the way Muslims are praying today. Okay, what's your point? My point is that in ancient Greek Bibles, one of the original scriptures that has been hidden from mankind says there will come a prophet to you after me called Muhammad. In the original Bible, and you, I'm sure you've heard this before. I think you just invented that because there is no source, there's no Greek Bible that names the name of Muhammad. Okay. Do you have the source? Tell me the make, source. I will make a deal with you. Sure. If I can prove to you that the Bible stated the advent, the, uh, the, the, the coming of the Prophet Muhammad, will you convert to Islam right here? Right? I will, because I know that it's not in the Bible. You stated it. Prophet Muhammad. You the Holy Spirit. You said you said Solomon. Solomon. In the Bible, in the Bible Wait, it says if, if we the Prophet find, Muhammad if, uh, if, is coming. If we find, after me, if we Jesus find Prophet that. Muhammad in the Bible now, yeah. I'm gonna be a Muslim. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because okay, it's okay. not in the Bible. Okay. You can pull it up. You can pull it up. You're probably gonna pull up Deuteronomy 18 you, you or can, John 14. You can find the name of Jesus Christ in the Quran. Exactly. Yeah, if he times. can prove to us that times. there's Muslim, there's Muhammad, the name of Muhammad in the Bible right now, everybody's gonna be a Muslim. Yeah, but it's not there. Yeah. So, as you're looking for this scripture that does not exist, but to indoctrinate us, the Bible is, is very that, clear. That's what is not there. Moses spoke about a prophet that will come after him. They, but he said that this prophet would be a fellow brother, which to means. Isaiah. Isaiah, Isaiah has one all second, that brother. One second, brother. Muhammad spoke about a prophet that will come after him. Deuteronomy 18:18, 18, 18, if that's what you're looking for. And he said that he would be among the brethren, meaning he will be a countryman. Meaning he will live in the same country. God bless you. Thank you for the conversation. God bless you. And so clearly he was not talking about Muhammad because Muhammad is Arab. Muhammad is not a Jew. So the prophet that, Mo that Moses refer was referring to was a Jewish prophet that would be greater than him, that would be a descendant of David, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So clearly the verse that you're probably looking for, Deuteronomy 18.18, it is talking about Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Now, if you're looking for John 14, where Jesus is talking about a comforter who will come after, clearly he's talking about the Holy Spirit because he specifically mentions that he is the spirit of truth and he will be with you and will be in you. And Muhammad cannot indwell human beings because he is a human being who died hundreds of years ago. So the verses that you're looking for, my friend, they do not exist unless you're referring to the verses talking about Jesus or the Holy Spirit. So, my friend, if you do not find it, I'm going to ask you the same question. I'm going to tell you something. In the Greek Bible, one of the original Angels that was hidden from mankind by the emperors. And uh, where, how? Like, do you have a name for this Angel? Yeah, yeah the, the, the Greek Bible. There are 4,000 Greek manuscripts, my friend. There is no one Greek Bible. There is the earliest Bibles. I know what the earliest Bibles are, my friend. When are you here again? I'm gonna find it for you. I'm gonna convert you to Islam. Well, if you don't find it, will you will you convert to Christianity? I need, I need the time to find it because I've seen it multiple times. I just can't find it. Okay. But when are you gonna be here again so I can show it to you so that you can actually fulfill the promise you just made on live television 
and convert to Islam. I will not convert to Islam because it's not in the Bible. You will not find it. So if I can prove it to you, okay, you will convert. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll yeah, sure. No That's problem. Okay, it's I'll not there. So up, when are you coming back here? Well, take my number. You could you no, text no. me. When are you doing this again? So I go all over the city. I go all you over have the city. To do it live. I go all over the city. So okay. text me your name. If you can find it, I'll take my shahada, man. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. gladly. No problem. But yeah, if you yeah. can't find it, will you, a, if you can't, can't find it, can you convert to Christianity? Because I'm in a hurry, but listen yeah. to me. Yeah. I've seen it multiple times. You have it. The I've Prophet seen this. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi was mentioned in the Bible. It's not. He was mentioned in the Bible. Never. Jesus said there's going to come one after me. Holy Spirit. Muhammad. It does not say Holy Spirit. It's Paraclete. It's the Holy Spirit. Never, never, never mentioned Muhammad. Never. Being in denial. Is also You're the one that's in denial. You're the one who could not find the source. If you could find the source of a Greek manuscript, you're the one who said it. I did not know you were here today. I would have came prepared. That's why I'm asking you when you're here next You're the one who challenged me, my friend. I'm not challenging you in anything. You said that if you find it, I have to convert to Islam. I said, okay. And you could not find it, my friend. Me too. So let's do this again. Let me give me that time to find it. Take all the time you need. And then we can do this again. When are you here again? Text me your name and we'll keep in touch. I don't know when I'm going to be here again. I preach the gospel every day. I'm all over the city, my friend. There's millions of stories like yours where the guys, priests, Catholic priests, Orthodox priests, people who studied years and years in the service of the church, who finally read this and they're like, and there's other stories of Muslims who read about Muhammad raiding and killing and allowing prostitution and allowing slave sex slavery and they look they, they see the evil in the Quran and the Hadith and they convert to Christianity in many chapters it talks about killing people stoning women who commit adultery you understand chopping people's heads so you're in no position to talk about the quran about that particular situation when in the bible it says stone women to death who commit adultery stone them to death that's that's your bible miss your bible says to stone you to death and you know what though we believe in the bible but it was altered yeah, but the difference is, Muhammad said it at the end of his life, so there's historical context. So which one would you believe? The one that came before or the one that came after to correct the past? It does not correct, it contradicts, and it is false information. It only contradicts because the Bible and the Torah were altered by humans. You could say that as much as you want, but you don't have historical data, you don't have sources. I'm going to get in touch. Listen, here, here's the deal I'm going to make. What's your name? A Andrew. Andrew, I'm going to make a deal with you. I'm going to text you, I'm going to get back in touch with you, and I'm, we're going to go back live. Then I'm going to come with my evidence to you, and we'll see if truly, as a Christian, you believe in what your word means. You said, if I prove it to you, you will become a Muslim. We we will get back in touch. I will stay in touch. I will find it. I will show it to you on live television. If you don't have this guy, I will have people with me to go on national on, on live television. And if you see it and don't convert, I challenge every single Muslim if they find the word Jesus or if they find the word Muhammad in the Quran or in the Bible. I will convert because I know that is not in there. If you look at the Greek manuscripts, the scriptures that Muslims refer to when Muhammad is talking about a prophet. Why so serious? Do you believe in Jesus, my friend? Why so serious? This is serious because it's regarding your soul. Because if you die without Jesus, you're going to end up in hell, my friend. I want to encourage you to put your trust in Jesus Christ. He loves you. Jesus is the Son of God. He died for your sins and He rose again from the dead. And so I want to encourage you guys to think critically and seek the truth. Because if you even seek historical facts, Christianity started within the first century. And within the first century, the followers of Jesus, they preached the message that Jesus is the Son of God, meaning He's equal with God, that Jesus was crucified. This is historically documented among Romans, among Jews, among unbelievers. We all know Jesus was crucified under the, the governor Pontius Pilate. And they testified that Jesus resurrected from the dead, proving that He was God. And within the first century, they worshiped Jesus as God. And 600 years later, that's when Muhammad came, that's when he got the Quran, and that's when he started distorting the truth.
the essential truth, the divinity of Jesus, the crucifixion of Jesus, and the resurrection of Jesus. And they claim that Jesus was not even crucified, which goes against every single historian. It is generally agreed upon among every scholar, every historian, that Jesus was indeed crucified and the followers of Jesus decided to preach this message even to the point of death. They decided to die for the gospel. So if you seek the truth, if you research historical data, my friends, you'll come to the conclusion that Jesus is the Son of God, that Jesus died for your sins, and that Jesus resurrected from the dead. So I want to encourage you today to come to Jesus with a sincere heart. Recognize that you have sinned against God. Ask God to forgive you of your sins. And make a decision today to turn away from your sins and to put your trust in Jesus Christ. And if you believe this message and you repent and follow Jesus, the Bible says that your sins will be forgiven, you're going to have a relationship with God, and ultimately, my friends, you will have eternal life. So my friends, if you want a free Bible, we have free Bibles that were given out tonight. If you want prayer or if you have any questions, my friends, we'll be here till 8 p.m. God bless you, my friends, in Jesus' name.